Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're working on this vintage 1970s Thomasville three drawer dresser. Uh, so this is what the dresser looks like. It is big, it has three drawers, and it has these little metal um, things on the side, like little accent things. So first thing I did is I filled the holes of the top drawer um, and this little scratch that it had at the bottom of the drawer on the right side. And I went ahead and filled that, sanded it, and then painted it black. Um, and I I wanted to just put knobs instead of handles on that top drawer so that's why I decided to fill in one of the holes. I went ahead and started cleaning. I marked off and started cleaning the metal accent pieces on the front of the drawer. I just mixed together a little bit of um, baking powder and vinegar, took a little bristle brush and buffed that out and then I went ahead and sanded the whole entire piece. Um, I decided to give this one a whitewash looking feel to it. I wanted to look a little distressed, um, even though it, it is vintage. And um, so I did that, wiped it back, and then once that dried on all of the pieces, uh, besides the top drawer that I painted black, I went ahead and sealed everything with an oil-based polyurethane um, just to seal everything in. I gave that one to two coats um, and then sanded all of those pieces pieces that I put the poly on uh, with a 320 grit to make it nice and smooth. And then last but not least on those pieces, I went ahead and um, put some furniture finisher on them just to make sure that it was all ready to go and the, uh, to get basically buff out the uh, sanding from the polyurethane. since I've been working on the vintage dresser um, I did need to make a couple purchases on Amazon to get some drawer pulls uh, drawer pulls and things like that um, so for you this is no time at all but for me it's been a few weeks um, so I wanted to just hop on camera really quick to show you what I got I got a few um, just like things that I needed and also the drawer pulls that I actually needed for this particular piece uh, so starting out I went and I got these Miko hook and pull sanding discs. Um, it's a set of 72. Um, it comes with 12 40 grit, 10 60 grit, 10 80 grit, 10 120 grit, 10 180 grit, 10 240 grit, and 10 320 grit. So you can see that. That is what comes in the box. It was really not that expensive. I think it was like between 10 and 12 dollars uh, for 72 of these was a steal so i went ahead and picked those up just for you know my my stock here in the garage um, i did also pick up some uh, furniture legs um, and if you haven't already seen the video the first furniture foot video that i posted here on youtube i actually um, had two sets of nightstands in it so the second set of nightstands was kind of a surprise if you haven't seen that video already feel free to pause um, i'll post it or link it up at the top for you to check out um, the first set went ahead and sold within like a couple weeks um, and i posted how much i sold those for in that video um, but the second set didn't sell until about a week or two ago so um and because one of the reasons that it wasn't selling is because it was kind of a smaller set of nightstands so as I was kind of like, you know, mulling it over, deciding whether or not I wanted to lower the price, deciding whether or not I wanted to add legs to it, I did go ahead and purchase a set of legs. Um, thankfully, those that set sold last week um, because I made a huge mistake in that I purchased a set of four furniture legs instead of a set of eight because it's two nightstands, not one, but I just was like on Amazon, I like this set. Um, and I wasn't thinking I just got to. So thankfully it all worked out the way that it needed to work out. But I'm keeping the legs because I actually really like them. So it's a set of four. Um, again, these were like not that expensive. Sorry, there's a car driving by. Um, but it wasn't that expensive. I wanna say maybe $15 for a set of four, which is like a steal compared to how much they cost in store. I went, I went everywhere. I went to Home Depot, I went to Lowe's, I went to Ikea. There was just nothing. But okay, so it comes in a set of four. They get individually wrapped in plastic and in bubble wrap. Um, and then this is the shape. They also come in different colors. I got black, but they also sell gold and silver, I believe, or bronze. One of those two. It's either silver or bronze, but I know they definitely sell gold for sure. Um, but this is the leg. 
So as you can see, it's a nice modern leg. It has the holes at the top here, and then it has um, a furniture foot at the bottom here, if you can see that. Um, so yeah, this is a really good, I really like the style of this. The price point was really good. And I'm gonna end up keeping these. I do have um, a project in mind to use them for, but it's just, I wanna finish this uh, vintage dresser first before I get to that. So uh, these are just gonna go in storage here, down here in the garage. Um, so let me put this away. All right, now to talk about the actual drawer pulls. So if you remember, this dresser has three drawers. The top drawer, um, I filled in the holes on the top drawer so that it only has one hole instead of two. And then two bottom drawers, um, the middle and the bottom one, um, have you know just a regular in the middle drawer pull. So for the top drawers, um, instead of it kind of like pulling like this with like the two handles at the top, um, like two handles that have two holes at the top, if that makes sense. So it had four holes total, now it only has two. So you're still gonna pull it like this, but just with knobs instead of like um, pulls. So the knobs, I got them from um, Home Depot. They are this kind, this brand. They are called the one and a half inch weave pattern round knob. And then for the um, second and third drawer pulls I got on Amazon because the spacing on these were not standardized to what is modern now because this is a vintage dresser. Um, so the um, spacing on these is actually one and a half inches and at the store I could only find either one inch or one and three quarters inch which I guess is standard now but not what I needed. Um, so I found these drawer pulls they're called Vintage Drawer Pulls by Infinity Mux. You can see that. Um, and then this, so they come in a two pack. This again was like $10 or less, something like that. Um, they come in a two pack. This is how the box looks. And then let me just show you how one of them looks. So what I like about these is they match it. They match the style of the other set, uh, the, the knobs that I got from Home Depot, but they're not like exactly, exactly. Uh, but I'll show you a side by side in a second. Uh, but they also have a really vintage style. Like I haven't seen this style of knobs on furniture in a long while. <laughs> um, but this is the pull itself. I'll hold it from the sides here so you can see. You can see it has that ornate vintage like style to it design to it um, and then it has that vintage like brassy color and then it has it comes with these little circles that go on the side you see where i'm going here how it swivels up and down and so there's one on each side of it um so yeah this is a one and a half inch spaced um for holes one and a half inch and um, for all of the products that I'm showing you right now I'll link them down in the description box if you're interested in them um, I'm not sure if I can I'll see if I can find the Home Depot one I'm sure I can but all of the rest of the stuff came from Amazon so it'll be easy for me to link it down for you um, oh and yeah I said I was gonna show you this next to the other thing so these, again these are the knobs and then this is the drawer pulls like a really good match if I do say so myself they're not the exact same style but they're similar enough that like it's not gonna be a big deal you know so I'm really excited about this um, I just have a few more things to finish up on the furniture itself on the dresser itself I just have one more coat of polyurethane thing to do and then I'm gonna assemble everything and we'll be good to go I can post it online and hopefully find um, the perfect seller for this piece so Let's get into it. Now, here I am putting on the knob that I just talked about on the top drawer that I painted back like I told you guys a few clips ago. Uh, let me know how you think it looks put together. 
All right, so we're back in the garage. This is a totally different day. This is about two days um, from the last clip that you just watched. Um, so like I was saying, the drawer pulls that I got from Amazon, the antique looking ones, they're really nice. Um, I did, I think I said if I didn't, then I'm telling you now, they provide um, screws in the packaging, screws and washers in the packaging, but the screws they provide are like super long. Like this is one of them. This is the longer of the two screws that they provide. And then this one, let me just hold it up, is the shorter of the two screws. Like what, do you guys own a dresser with drawers that are this thick? Cause I don't, this dresser is not that thick. So I ended up having to go to Home Depot, make another trip to Home Depot. Um, these particular screws are the metric system type of um, screws. So it's the M4.07 and I got the 16 millimeter ones. Um, so I'm gonna try those out, see if they work. Um, and hopefully I can finish this dresser in like the next two minutes. Now here are the handles on the dresser drawers. I am so glad they I picked them up from Amazon. Again, the link will be in the description box. They fit like a glove. They look so amazing and they totally match. Seeing it all together with the top drawer, and the knobs that I picked out for that one, they totally match and I'm super happy with the final result. As you can see, this is how it looks all put together, all the drawers in, all cleaned up, all sanded and sealed and polished up. It looks amazing. If you like these types of videos, feel free to like and subscribe to my channel for more.